You use AP and French BB. AP best way to go, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it depends on the target. Let me put it this way. The, uh, the, the, the French, the, the, the Richelieu and the Jean Bart both have um, 380s. And 380s are... They lack a certain amount of penetration at tier, tiers 9 and 10. They lack it at tier 8, to be honest. Um, I think the Jean Bart has pretty good penetration. And I think Jean Bart has advanced penetration angles as well. But, um, right? Doesn't it have advanced AP angles? But generally speaking, firing HE is a good good call until you get like kind of up close and personal. Oh Lord! You miss using the bat chat and the waffle in World of Tanks? Yeah, I uh I remember. You guys remember the the AMX ELC? in uh, World of Tanks, the little tier 5 light tank that uh, didn't have a turret, but it was so short, you could literally like run up and uh, you could zoom around, you could zoom around and you could actually like get up close to some tanks and be able to shoot them, and they literally couldn't depress their gun far enough down to be able to hit you. That was fucking hilarious. Mastering the, uh, mastering the art of like zooming around in your AMX ELC and like blapping something on the way and not moving or not uh, not stopping that was hilarious <clears throat> you could charge off into the back of the enemy lines and find the artillery and blap it and run away <laughs> this stuff's so funny the Waffentrager E100 was so stupid though yeah back when tier 5 lights could uh, match against tier 10 tanks well, because they really only had light tanks that went up to tier 5 for a while, right? I mean... I mean, for a while there, like, it was the T-50-2. That was, like, the light tank, right? I'm trying to remember what other light tanks there were. The T-50-2. I was talking to somebody, I think it was Late Light, actually. I was talking about, um... Because he's been playing one of the tanks lately. I was telling him about how there used to be, um... God, what was it? You marked the T-49. Yes. The T-49 is fantastic. I still have that, actually, in my garage. T-49 was is super fun. Um... It's good either with... It's good with the little ping-ping gun, or it's good with the, uh... The blappy gun. It is a blappy gun, right? Like a 155 or something? Um... What was I thinking? It was the, um... Oh! The KV-1S! Way back in the day, like 2012 or something, the KV-1S could, um... It was basically the hull of a KV-1S that, like, currently, so it's... The armor layout's a little more efficient, so it saves weight, even though it's still strong. And it had the 122 millimeter long cannon that fired every like 15 seconds. It was really inaccurate. It was so busted. Yeah, it was so completely busted. They finally did the smart thing and they took it out. Um, I forget what they did. They split it into like KV-1S that had like an 85 millimeter or 100 millimeter maybe. I think an 85. And then the dirt cannon went on something else. I forget. 122 millimeter dirt kid, and that was so funny. The Hetzer is pretty funny as well. I always, I always liked the uh, the Hetzer is gonna Hetz meme. That was funny. I think Late Light just for the first time ever ran into a Tog too as well. And he's like, "What on earth am I looking at?" The Tog two legitimately used to be kind of good. Like, back in the day before, you know, well, there are some better ships now. Boats? Wow. There are some better tanks for sure, but, uh, there are some better tanks for sure, but the, uh, yeah, that one was, that one was a lot of fun. Another fun tank is the, um, another fun tank is the Tier 2 Tetrarch. It's really rare, like, I don't, I don't think they sell it anymore, but the Tetrarch 
has like the highest penetration for its gun of any tier two tank. Like a light tank. I mean, maybe not a TD, but. Tanks and boats balancing teams have been sharing ideas lately. Really? What do you, uh, what makes you say that? I'm curious. I haven't paid attention to World of Tanks balance in forever, so I'm, I'm way out of the loop. We need to get in this battle, because their entire team went to the opposite side. Very questionable. What, uh, okay, Ace, tell me, what do you think, what, what's the most questionable balancing choices that, uh, Warships is doing, and then, what are some other, what are some tanks ones, because I haven't paid attention to tanks in so long. I've got curious, so. Just give me a fire. God damn it. Since we're top tier, I might be able to... I might be able to swap to some AP a little bit. Why am I so snotty? It's gross. Ugh. Oh. Hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Tanks ones go back a while. The Chrysler K, I remember that one. And the future tanks having very front, frontal, uh, minimal front weak points. Yeah. The Chrysler was that the one that? I'm trying to remember that one. Was that the one that you could get for free through the uh, missions? Chrysler was the one that Sir Fosh got kicked over? How exactly did that happen? What did he, uh, what did he say about it? Did he just criticize it, or...? Yeah, the, the Waffentrager E100 used to be ridiculous, and then they... They swapped it, they took it out completely and replaced it with the Gorilla Gorilla 15. Which is, you know, Gorilla 15 is fine. It's, it's, I would say it's kind of un un uninteresting, but. Amex 40 is still the most OP tank? Really? Huh. We cannot overmatch Baltimore's nose, so we'll just wait for him to very kindly give us broadside like this. Thank you. Amazing. Wow. Wow, 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 The really good tank was the FV215B183. That was not. That one was so fucking stupid. I like the 215B heavy. Um, I actually have that. I have that. It's in my garage. I liked it when they literally like here. We're gonna take this away, but we're gonna give you, we're gonna give you a super conqueror instead. I like that a lot. What? Are you kidding me? We overpen his citadel. What the fuck? God bless this scores. People have less money because they need to buy higher cost ammo, so they need to buy more premium time and premium tanks to cover the cost. Ah, well, yeah. That's... That's a that's an interesting one, because... Yeah, I mean... I don't know what Wargaming's fundamental... Um, like, what their... Primary, where they make most of their money. Um, I think I heard... I think it was maybe Sub Octavian when I talked to him. I think he said something along the lines of like Wargaming makes most of its money from uh, premium 
premium boats, or at least World of Warships, I should say. I should say. Premium ships are the place where they make the most money, but I feel like a lot of games, a lot of games nowadays, they're starting to move towards the subscription base because it's just so consistent. Everybody's doing what Netflix does. Premium time is effectively a subscription. It's not exactly, that's effectively. I forgot how soft we are in a, in a JB. what it's been about today and yesterday, but people are just, like, lining up to give me broadsides. It's very nice. It's been, it's been much, much appreciated, for sure. That, that Roma game yesterday, man, that was, that was some wild shit. What do I think about the Flandre? I hate it. I hate it. I hate Flandre. It's on my list of ships I do not like. Chad Jumbart. Come on, Emma! Find that Citadel! Oh. Surge forward. What? I don't even remember what that one was for. AP is too good on JB to fire HE unless they're bowing. Yeah. <clears throat> like the captain rework, draining commander XP, and the flag removal from achievements, making us buy flags. Yeah. I, I concur with your assertion on that one. I There have been a lot of pretty transparent features that are, like, clearly just resource sinks. So, like... Like, clearly the auction... The auction house is a sink for credits. Clearly. Um, and, like, the... You know, the removing of the flags for achievements, it's clearly a credit sink. Uh, so. You could choose to only play Fenyang or Flandre. Which would you choose? Flandre. Hands down, all day long. Yeah, it's, um... The Flandre combines three things I don't like, which is... <clears throat> um, bad accuracy, long reload, and subcaliber guns. Like, I don't mind subcaliber guns. Like, 380s at tier 8 is fine, right? But... To combine that with bad reload and bad accuracy? Like, why? Why would you do that? Did they buff Flandre after the data removal? No. No, they did not. No, they did not. I hate it. Hi, Lego. How you doing, man? People have been complaining about players getting too fast to high tier so they remove flags. Also, people complain. Uh, you think so? The Flandre does not have 406s. It has 380s. Lego, Lego always wants more WoW. I think we can, I think we can provide some WoW. It's a Christmas crate ship, yeah. I don't remember when the Flandre came out or what it was for, either. If you could bring back Deadeye, would you? Actually, I would, but not in the same, like... Not in the same... The, the, I've said this a million times, that, like... The biggest problem with Deadeye was the drawback created an incentive for battleship players to play passively from afar. That's bad. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's just not good. So whatever you do, you need to make... I think I think there's nothing wrong with having battleships be more accurate. Um, you know, I, I, I don't... I wouldn't just make it the way that it was. I would I would want to change it, but I stopped thinking about it after a while, so... Um, I mean, it really helps things like the Italian battleships, Flandre... Um, German battleships. Man, German battleships like suddenly got pretty good. The GK, you could actually use the GK as a... The GK functioned kind of like a Montana. 
with worse turret angles and better um, better shell well, better shell velocity for sure, but better shell arcs as well. Um, and better armor. Like, it's pretty sweet playing a GK as a sniper. Thank you for the follow, Crusade Queen. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, it was, it was pretty good. Come on, guys. Clean this up. 167,000, man. It's pretty savage. You don't see why they removed Deadeye instead of just nerfing it. Because some ships really need that boosting dispersion. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, you know, the, the biggest problem is that, like, it's one of those things where it makes boats that were already good, it makes them better. So, like, Thunderer, for example, Conqueror, it made them really good. They're already good, but it made them... You know, Conqueror's HE is balanced around the fact that it it's not very accurate. So then all of a sudden, but that's what makes it balanced because you spam HE in it. It has higher than normal HE damage. It has higher than normal HE pen. It has just an absurd fire chance. So you balance that out by truly having worse accuracy. And then you get Deadeye and all of a sudden it's like, it's insane. Thunderer was too good with it as well. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, how do you... I don't know how you how do you weight a, bu a skill like that you know like a dispersion a dispersion buff in a skill how do you weight that so that it's more useful for ships with lower dispersion there's a there's got to be a mathematical thing for that that I just don't know how to do but Thunderer is still too good yeah a little bit I think Thunderer is less oppressive now than it was before uh, I do think the range nerfs helped actually. I know that the range, like, it's not much, but it's something. Because Thunderer is squishy, so. Four V Black Hole, you're still going for the York, but afterwards you're going for Kaiser, Bayern, and Nizer now. I mean, I'm just gonna be honest with you, the German battleships are, are suffering at the moment. They lost Deadeye, which was really good for them, and the secondaries, I would argue, got worse after the Captain rework. I'm a big fan of. I'm a big fan of um, the choice they made to allow both sides of secondaries to be firing, even if manual targeting is on. I think that's a great, like, good. That's a good thing. Um, but uh, <clears throat> I'm looking forward to the new the new secondary skill that, as the longer your secondaries fire, the more accurate they get. Like, that's that's so on board with what it needs to be. So, got to call out the good when you see it, fellas. Otherwise, you uh, don't have any uh, yeah. Otherwise, you don't have any leg to stand on when you want to call out something bad. Yeah, I mean... Oh, Shokaku going after Alsace. Bonk! You missed. You missed, bro bro. I do like the new AA effects. I think it's pretty cool. That's a weird bug. The bug where... You can't see the shells, like for the first five kilometers and then they suddenly show up. When I play my secondary spec ships, I get close enough so it's harder to miss than to hit. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Must signals, por favor. Yeah, Jumpard is a fine 